Hi everybody. Um, I want to do a short video today here of the uh, CEH certification exam. Is it worth it? Okay, this is a topic that comes up a lot and I know many of you out there may have seen these videos. Most of them that I have seen have come about within the last year or two when you have seen a plethora of new hacking certification exams come about, now people are downplaying the relevancy of the certified ethical hacker. Well, I'm here to say that I absolutely approve, not because I am a certified ethical hacker myself. In fact, I've just updated the exam to the latest version in January. Um, but because I really feel that there is still a lot of value in this exam. Okay, I think it's an understandable question, makes a lot of sense because when people question this exam, it is a bit expensive, okay, and it requires time to study. I mean, it's well over $1,000, and that's if you have the approval to take it without the training. So, if you want to make sure that your investment and money will pay you for your career boost, then obviously you want to do your due diligence. So I'm going to go over some pros. We'll go over some cons. I don't think there is a lot of cons regarding this, but we'll just go ahead and go over it. So by starting, what I would like to do here is just simply let me minimize myself here. Um, and I just want to go over some simple articles on the web that to me just show the relevancy. So what I typed in here, certified ethical hacker popularity. All right. Now just keep this in mind. Right now, there is the CEH appearing in 10,000 job search results. Now this is more than other hacking certifications. So, um, you know, just kind of floating around over here again. This is nothing that I've scripted. I just wanted to convey to you that if you are seeking this exam, you should probably consider some of these pros before you make the investment, which I think is well worth it. So, um, the CEH was really one of the first pen testing exams and uh, many people that I have seen videos are kind of saying it's outdated. I don't believe it's outdated because they have updated the latest version and added a lot more material. There's a lot of training courses out there and there's a lot of qualified approved trainers throughout the world. So with all these opportunities, to me, it makes it uh, the information and the training readily available. Now, I took the Pentest Plus from CompTIA, which I do think is worth it as well. Um, it's, it's less than half the cost of this exam. There's not a lot of training on that, where there's a lot of training on the CEH. So um, another thing I want to point out there is a lot of people that hold this exam. And obviously, if there's a lot of people that hold the exam, it's well supported. Now, I have the certification. And I can say that it's helped me a lot. In dealing with clients, you know, you can basically say, um, you know, they'll ask you, do you have certifications? Some, some of them, not all of them. And then I'll tell them, well, I have my CEH and kind of explain that. Usually when they do dil diligence to see if you're qualified to do a pen test on their very sensitive material, they're pretty much done to say, okay, well, I mean, this this person is qualified. I mean, it's, it's again, it's ubiquitous on the web that they can do their research and pull information up. Now, 237,000 people have been awarded through the EC Council this CEH certification. I mean, is it an advanced certification? No. Okay, now, I don't even know if you can put that in the con category. Maybe we can. It's not advanced, 
but it covers everything where if an individual took this exam and has some experience, in my opinion, they are more than a competent individual to do a penetration test. Now you're gonna get other tests like the OSCP that are gonna be uh, more advanced, but not everybody is looking for an advanced pen tester. I mean, uh, the average pen tester can do 90% of the jobs out there, okay? So, um, is it worth it? Okay, that's, we don't need to, to read that. Um, can you get a job with just the CEH? The answer is yes, you can. Um, you can get an entry-level position. I've, I've known a lot of people. I've hired a lot of people that had nothing more than the CEH. Um, I've hired people without certifications or nothing more than the Pentest Plus. So the answer, in my opinion, is yes. I know a lot of people working even for bigger companies that'll, that'll hire with just the CEH because it's a good foundation. And um, six certifications, well, of course, that's from CompTIA. Obviously, there's a biased opinion there, so we'll just skip that. And uh, I mean, if you just, and again, nothing pre-rehearsed here. If you just scroll around the web, most of the time, they're saying that the CEH is the number one uh, pen test exam. And well, here you go. Here's theirs pros. And this is uh, ZDNet.com, most well-known. That's very important because remember, being well known, the human resource department knowing about this CEH really does mean a lot. Okay? Teaches modern hacking techniques, exploits emerging uh, cybersecurity trends and attack vectors. So, again, the latest test has been updated. Um, which includes a lot of this. So it's not like one can make the argument, okay, this is an older test, they haven't updated. That's not true. And another one that's really been updated is the Pentest Plus from CompTIA. I hold both of those certifications and I think they're both excellent. So includes a cyber uh, attack case studies, malware analysis, and hands-on hacking challenges. I think they've come a long way and I think their EC Council's exceptional. Here you go. It's interesting thing is that's what I said. In my opinion, the only con for the CEH is the fact that it is fairly expensive. So expect eleven, twelve hundred dollars um, to take this exam, and that is if you have two years of verifiable experience. Um, that the EC Council will send an email, okay, to your employer, and then they will see if you actually qualify to take the test. Now, if you don't, then you go ahead and take a course which can range, you know, somewhere in the midst of two, three thousand dollars, depending upon the options that you do choose. So just keep that in mind. So really the only con that I see with the certified ethical hacking exam is that it is relatively expensive. Now, I'm not going to cover the other exams today and go through them. I just wanted to focus on this one exam because, again, if you do your research, many consider it to be the top. Okay? Um, and also for salary. Now, when I say the top, again, we're talking about averages. Whoops, sorry about that. Putting the computer down, forgot that the camera's on the computer here. Um, the certified ethical hacker salary, that's what we want to see here. All right. So they're going by hourly rage here, but um, you know, for the most part, certified ethical hackers that have this certification get paid pretty well. Just keep that in mind. These are the pros, these are the cons that I've kind of went through, and um, I definitely suggest obtaining this if you feel that you have the skills. I do see now a lot of learning courses out there on YouTube, and many of them are available at no cost now, and they are good training courses. So. Take advantage of that because when I took this exam way back when I, when I started to hold this exam, there wasn't a lot available, all right? 
take it. You'll be happy you did so. Leave some comments of what you think below and let's go ahead and um, have some fun with this topic. All right, so take care everybody. I hope this helped to kind of guide you in the right direction.